and fiddles are in right away with the, all the chords, nice and airy with the harps and oh, stuff. Oh, we come in right away. You come in right away. Oh, cool. Okay, sorry. Intro. All right. Wait, again. can you point at us? Like, yes, I can. Clearer. I can. Thanks. One, two, one, two. Hello. My name is Susan Willits. I'm the director of Community Music School of Santa Cruz, and I am so happy to present to you the final concert for our 2021 Redwood Music Teen Camp. Last year, of course, uh, due to COVID, we had to cancel our camp. And this year, we were bound and determined to have a real in-person experience. And so thanks to our camp medic, Graham Akison, and our fabulous teachers, Andra Bonnet, Renata Bratt, Fox Pedinati, Shelley Phillips, and John Weed, we were able to really reinvent how this camp works using masks and social distancing and multiple classes and lots and lots of conversations about how to make this work and still be a great camp. Uh, so we are about to present to you our two pods, uh, Pod Joe and Pod Candace. And uh, first they will perform for you the, in, the songs that they learned with their instructors and then at the end, each pod will perform their own set led by their teaching assistants, Brianna Aidy, Ian Daverin, Wyatt Hawbaker, and Kimmy Peterson. Uh, so to, to start, and then we will finish off with the two pods together and yet socially distanced, uh, singing for you one of the songs that they learned in their daily singing class. So starting us off, I'm going to introduce our uh, harp and keyboard instructor and the founding director of Community Music School, Shelley Phillips. Hi everyone out there in TV land. <laughs> it's really fun to be doing this. It was such a great camp. It means a lot to me and I'm so happy with the level of musicianship um, that my teaching experience had this, this year. I did Swedish tunes with my people as well as the singing, but we're going to start with a Swedish tune called Polska efter Pelle Pedersen. Polska is a kind of a dance. And here we go, Pod Joe doing Pelle Pedersen. to introduce our next teacher, Fox 
Pettinotti, who has actually been with the program since he was seven years old, little bits of player at kid camp, but now he's going through the whole thing, and now he's faculty, and he's just the most wonderful guitar player, fretted strings. He started on Ben Whistle, but he plays everything. But for this camp, he's our fretted strings teacher. Here's Bob. As Shelly said, I've been coming to camp since uh, I remember anything. <laughs> uh, many years ago, um, there was a tune taught by uh, the previous guitar teacher who, uh, I guess lucky for me, couldn't make it this year. Um, it was uh, rather popular at its time. It was uh, called The Wedding Reel. Um, became kind of a camp tune, but since the years have passed, it's filtered out, and now we get to recycle it. So taught it to all these great students that we've had this year. Let's, uh, let's hear it, the wedding room. cello teacher I've had the pleasure of meeting in several years teaching at this camp this year. Um, it's been so wonderful. Uh, I'm coming right up. Hand it off to you then. My name is Renata Broad, and I'm really grateful to be here this year. Um, we're going to start off with a tune uh, which is Polish American entitled Westphalia Waltz, which I uh, first learned from um, another Weed, and his name is Joe Weed. And then we're going to play 
the reel of bogey. And the reel of bogey is a tune that I learned from a Chicago Irish fiddle player named Devin Shepherd. And Devin Shepherd was originally a, a very young teacher at this very camp many years ago. So really looking forward to having you hear that. All right.
Peter Bonnet, and I'm the flute teacher here this year, and this is my first year at Redwood Camp, and hopefully not the last, because it's been super awesome. Um, I have the great honor of having come the furthest, because I live in Mobile, Alabama, which is actually experiencing a tropical storm this weekend, and I have the fewest students, so, but it's been super fun, and so we've definitely been able to work on flute-centered things, um, very specific fingering kind of patterns and all, so, the set we're going to play, which we are calling the flute set, features those for our flute players and everybody else just has to kind of hang on for the ride. So we're playing three very standard session tunes. The first is a jig called Jimmy Ward's Jig, and then two reels, the Abbey Reel and Craig's Pipes, and the pipes actually refers to the bagpipes, so it's kind of that kind of a tune. So you'll hear the people who aren't the flute players doing a whole lot of droning, pretending to be those drones on the pipes. So, here's our flute set. And since it is the flute set, the first eight measures, the first time through the first tune, all you will hear are flutes and whistles. So remember guys, two, two through Jimmy Ward's, three through the other.
set with teacher set with this band, I would like to introduce our fiddle teacher, John Weed. Uh, I am John Weed, and I had the honor and delight of teaching fiddle at this year's Redwood Teen Music Camp. Um, we've had a great week, made a lot of great music, and we're going to make some of that music for you now. Um, these are the two tunes that I taught to my fiddle group. Um, they're actually American old-timey tunes, so I not really broke the rules, but I bent it a little bit. And we're going to play some old-time American music, which I would argue is a descendant of Celtic music. It came over here in bagpipes, and we got some old-timey fiddle out of the deal. Um, the first tune is uh, a tune called Firefly, which I don't know much about, but I picked up in a nice old-time jam up in Corvallis, Oregon, uh, with some friends of mine. And it's just a kind of a hip new tune. Um, the second tune was from a Pennsylvania fiddler by the name of Sarah Armstrong. She's no longer with us, but um, kind of like COVID, it's tough to make music, but yet it's really hard to make the music die. It just always finds a way. Sarah Armstrong played fiddle in a time when it wasn't really cool for women of her age to play the fiddle, or of any age, and yet she did it anyway, and the music lived on, and so we'll play these two selections for you. Thank you. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. One, two, three.
but certainly not least, uh, I would like to introduce Ian Daverin, who uh, started as a camper who is now a TA, and I believe Ian has been here longer than I have. Um, lovely flute and whistle player, and he is going to lead the last selection with the uh, Pod Joe Band. Hi, yeah, my name is Ian Davern, and um, this is Pod Band Joe. We're going to be playing um, a couple tunes for you. The first one is a uh, mazurka um, called Tommy Peebles. Um, and then the second one is uh, a very traditional Scottish reel uh, called Barrowburn. Thank you. 
Okay, and now the second half of our show. This is Pod Candice, and uh, they are going to be started off by Dr. Renata Bratt, our cello teacher, and she's leading them in Off to California. In this version of Off to California, we're honoring the legacy of Irish folk who came to California with a dream in their hearts, and their dream was to become a beach boy, really. So we're going to start with um, some solos by some of our students, and anybody who's not taking a solo did take a solo, but they're just not doing it right now, just so you know. All right, I'm very happy to show you our version of the Irish Hornpipe off to California. Thank you. 
Our next teacher is John Weed, and he'll tell us all about his tunes. Thank you. I am John Weed, and uh, we are going to play two tunes from the northern regions of Ireland. Um, the first tune uh, is a tune called The Three Scones of Boxty. And uh, we're going to follow that with, a, with an old reel called Little Katie Taylor. And I learned these from the playing of Dermy Diamond, or Dermot Diamond, a nice fiddler from Belfast. And I think the fiddles are going to start this off all by our very selves. We're going to hear some droning coming in on the B parts. And we're just going to kind of rock out. Ready? One, two, three, four. Again, that was uh, Three Scones of Boxty and Little Katie Taylor. And um, next up, we have, I think, founding member of this camp and faculty and a dear friend, one of my oldest folk buddies, Shelly Phillips. And she's going to tell you all about some Swedish music that you are about to hear. Hi, TV people. It's really fun. I wish you could see what I can see, um, which is really interesting beautiful amphitheater which you can't see sorry but can i get a witness from the back crowd there is it nice they yes. say hi Hello. and Hello. i want to just do a shout out and a thank you to andy zamzek and gadget box studios which they're my people and i love them and thank them very much for our sound people chip and dave Chip and, no, not the squirrels, not Chip and Dale. Chip and Dave, and thank you guys very much. So I'm uh, leading Pod Candace in uh, a reel I learned t 
two summers ago in Sweden at a festival. It was the latest part, the darkest part of the day, which is not very dark. It was actually still very light outside. Everyone was super tuckered out, but they still had to play polskas on their nickel harpas and Swedish zithers. And I just recorded it and later found out it was a rid march after uh, Biskale, who was an amazing uh, playing man in the 18th century. And it's just one of the best polskas in the book. So I brought it to camp and here we go. introduce Fox again. Um, I got to introduce them in the pod Joe. So. And I can't say enough great things about Fox. He is just one of the best musicians I know. And what's really handy is he's going to be helping me travel the world once we get going again uh, on tour. So it's kind of been a really important camp for me and Fox musically. And He's been just picking the greatest tunes. The fun thing about this one is he wrote it. It's an original Fox Petunotti tune. Thank you, Shelley. Um, 
as she mentioned, uh, I did write this tune, um, I think just before the pandemic started, I, I wrote this, um, while I was living, uh, with another camper, actually, who was unable to make it this year, unfortunately, Linus, um, a good friend of mine, um, we got a house together in Santa Cruz, and we started playing music all the time, and we started writing tunes together, and this is one of the, one of the ones that came out of that. Um, while I was working on this, uh, I was basically trying to confuse myself um, by making a complicated piece of music and writing it in a key that I was not used to playing in. Um, I wrote this on banjo, originally Irish tenor banjo. It's four strings tuned like a fiddle, but an octave lower. Um, and uh, I am super impressed with our, with our fiddle class this year, holding down the melody for us um, as Again, it's a rather complicated tune, but um, I, uh, I really like how it turned out, so uh, let's, let's play it. and privilege to introduce the work of Pod Candice as a group. They have been crafting some pieces of music for us, and uh, now we get to hear what it is. Um, what? We'll introduce them. Hello, my name is Wyatt, and today we got our pod Candace here playing a few tunes for you guys. We got Boys of the Puddle, Cold Frosty Morning, and a little twist, and one last song called Old Redlander from Um These tunes are arranged by three figures in this camp that are pretty big. We got uh, an arrangement from Shelly, an arrangement from Adam Hendy, and an arrangement from David Brewer. And, uh, you know this camp, you know all these people are very cherished. So, proud to present all this for you. 